kitchen, we did karabat. Karabat is a speciality of mixed vegetables added to semolina and uh, with spices it is done. This is one of the specialities where you can find in Bangalore. If everyone who is from Bangalore must be very familiar with this recipe because this, this kind of karabat, you must have it from the darshinis. These darshinis are a small outlets in Bangalore where you get, you can just stand and uh, eat your breakfast, food, even lunch, they sell, uh, serve there. But it's excellent food what you get. They're very nominal price. They're not just very expensive, but very yummy food. Of course, it is not going to be this, like this healthy with less of oil and we make it, if you can see, it's so soft here. You see how we have made it like this. But if you have it, the darshini, there's a lot of uh, dalda or uh, oil being added and they make it more softer and it, this is in um, and it is so tasty as well of course this is tasty it's not that it's not tasty but um, the level of what taste it gets more from the, from their food is from the butter ghee or the dalda what they add to that dish and it makes really soft the dish any dish if you add more butter and ghee it makes very soft like how you make your kerava kesari like so it's like that so if uh, people, anyone going towards uh, Bangalore, if you have missed out on trying this, do try this. And the combination for this is, Chauta Bath is like, he'll give you one portion, a small portion of this, and then he will give you one portion of the sweet kesari. My God, it's heaven. I tell you, it's heaven. Because this is spice and that kesari is sweet. When you mix these two together and have it, it's divine and then you just can't ask anything for more it's that yum that uh, the combination is one of the best specialities of bangalore to try and uh, let me know how you all liked it and um, thank you for watching and have a great day bye hey foodies hi i hope you're all doing well today in my kitchen i'm going to do karabat this is uh, i'm sure many of you must be making it in very different ways this is the way how i make here and for my family ingredients needed are uh, you need some oil you need some turmeric you need some salt you need some garam masala you need some tomatoes i've taken half tomatoes i must have taken about one and quarter cup of the vegetables mixed i've taken one cup of the normal rava that is suji and i have taken one small medium onion a piece of ginger chopped uh, green chilies, curry leaves and coriander leaves and of course I will need some mustard and I will need some uh, of course you will need some mustard, some chana dal uh, so let's start making it the pan is hot here I'm going to add in the normal cooking oil not the uh, coconut oil, normal oil I'm adding about 3 tablespoons because uh, there's a lot of uh, vegetables and everything to be fried so need that let the oil get heated up. In the vegetables, I have taken carrot, potatoes, green peas, and beans. Okay, it's up to you if you want to add any more or you want to skip out any of these vegetables. What you don't like in your family members, you can just do what you like. There's no online fast food that you need to use this must. But these are the vegetables normally you find in here. I'm going to add in some mustard. I'm going to add in some mustard. Then I will dunk in some chana dal. Let me cover and keep so that they splatter. Otherwise, they mess up my area. Butter. Adding in the rest of everything. What is in the plate. Except for few for garnish, the rest everything. Adding it a taste a small quantity spoon of the garam masala. This is what lifts the flavor for the soup. Ma, karabat, okay. I'm adding in the tomato. Let them all get mixed well. Adding in the vegetables. These are not frozen vegetables. These are fresh cut vegetables. So it takes time to cook. If you are adding frozen vegetables, have an eye. It doesn't take too long to cook. Adding salt for the vegetables. I've sorted enough this vegetable now. Now I'm going to add, I'll be adding one cup of the semolina. So I'll be adding almost two cups of the water. 
because my vegetable is almost done like so I don't want to add any more water for the vegetable so 1 is to 2 check salt then we will go ahead for it I'm going to add in the rava now that's the semolina I put 1 is to 2 water and I have made it. once this is cooked the upma is ready to serve and I'm going to give it a good mix and I'll cover and keep. 